Hi there, and welcome to OK with Lauren Lojudice, your place for comedy and commiseration. How's it going? What's your name? How you doing there? And let us know your drink. We're having some fun here tonight. I experimented with some dramatic lighting here. This looks like I'm about to be in some sort of a sci-fi movie. Um, always having fun here. It's my new green screen wall. Welcome. Welcome to paint. It's amazing. I'm so excited about it. Um, and so let me know what you drink. I am drinking some kombucha in my lovely Christmas cup. My friend Sherry gave this to me. And in fact, my friend Britta came to visit me once with her mother, Britta Ushkamp who I'm going to be collaborating soon with in Paris, more in more detail on that later. Um, and she, her mother came and she was like, oh, what a pretty cup. And I was like, you can have one. And it like made her day. My friend Sherry gave me like four of these. And I was like, you just made a, a Polish woman's dream day. <laughs> so you love that. I love this cup. It's so festive. It's the summer. Um, but I am looking forward to it getting cold as of all of you. So we can start complaining about that. Um, all right. So let's, um, get into our favorite segment. Let's without delay, we have, we're going to do the wonder wheel. We're going to do what we do here is we, we review books. We talk books. We get nerdy about that. And we're going to have fun with our wheel of characters, which we've been playing with the last few weeks. So, so, you know, a little bit of an inside info is that what we've been doing here in OK is like kind of workshopping stuff and figuring um, things out um, with the characters. And we've been playing different games. And this is all to build up a show, which I am going to do at um, some point when the Delta virus isn't ripping through the country. Um, and so what you're seeing here is we're co-collaborating right here today. Um, but I am going to be in the next, probably at the end of September, I am moving back to Instagram. So a lot of these games will have been figured out. So here you are. You're getting the last, this is like going to be probably like the last month and a half of these YouTube streams. So make sure to come and make sure to enjoy it because when it goes on Instagram, it's going to be a little bit different. Um, so if you want to be in part of it, you got to get it now. Get it now. All right. So let's go to our first segment. Books. We all love books. We're all nerds here. So I'm going to recommend actually this book, which is a book where we get, I'm getting a lot of these exercises from. It's the Second City Almanac of Improvisation by Anne Libera. It's fantastic. Um, it's basically, it gives you tons and tons of exercises. They're usually for a group of people. And so what I've been doing is just kind of like using them as inspiration points or adapting them for just being us here together today. Um, and it's great. It gives some, some stories and you get to see like some, you know, the famous picture of Gilda Radner inspired me to watch Love Gilda on Amazon Prime. Or you have to rent it anyway. Mm. But it's great. It's a fantastic documentary by Gilda Radner. And this kind of talks about how the Second City way of doing things. And I, I really, I've really been enjoying I enjoyed it. And now I'm using, I went back to it because I'm such a nerd. Look at this nerd. I'm, I put... I leaf through all the all the exercises in here so that I knew that I would I would need this at some point. I read this a few years ago and I was like, at this point, I think I'm gonna need this. And I was like, you know what? I can use this book to to come up with games that we're gonna play together here today. And so yeah, that's exactly what I've been doing. I mean, this nerd shit works out. Okay, that's all I gotta say. All right, so book recommended. Now, oh, another exciting oh, two things, two other exciting things. If you're having fun, tell a friend. Um, we're going to be here for the next month and a half. So it's a fun little gathering. Um, and we are creating lots of fun stuff that we're going to be back into the Instagram live. Um, this is, is a little more intimate here. Instagram live goes really fast. Really. It's a lot of people jumping in. And so I like this because it's small and intimate and we get to work on stuff and figure it out. So if you want to be part of that, you only have a month and a half left to enjoy. So grab a friend. All right. So one of the things that has happened in the past, this was more um, earlier in the pandemic, was that I was doing these lives and my mom would come on and be really upset with me for cursing so much. So I started taking, I have a character who's an etiquette expert. So I started keeping track of how many curse words I was doing. And I was going to donate, I was going to plan is to donate a dollar for every curse word. Well, 
finally got to finding the food bank that we're going to donate to, and it is Feeding America, and I am donating $50. So because of my cursing and because of you looking after me, $50 is going to them into Feeding America um, to help them with what they're doing with food banks around the country. So yay. Okay. Yay to you. Thank you for holding me accountable for my cursing. And my mom would watch it too. And she'd be like, no, I think you curse. You didn't curse four. You curse five times. <laughs> Moms. Okay, cool. All right. So we're going to, um, oh, before we go into the wonder reel exercise that we're going to about to get into with all of these from here, I'm going to actually have my character. We're going to experiment with this. I'm going to have my character explain the second city book. So let's go backwards for a brief second and let's go into books. My character, so we don't know who it's going to be because we, we, we spin the wheel and then tell us who it's going to be. And it's going to be Candace Twyla is going to just describe, hey guys, so I'm really excited about this book because it has a lot of exercises where I could potentially get on screen and then I get more screen time and then more followers. So I really am, I like, just tell people to read it for you and then they can think of ways that you can do things and videos. The end. All right, thank you, Candace Twyla, for that. Have thank you very much for that stunning, stunning um analysis of an improv book. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, so here's let's go to the Wonder Wheel. Ba, 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 ba. And if you're wondering why we don't have sound effects with this, we have it when we do stuff on Instagram, but not here. We have not had sound effects, and why? Because sound effects and music gets all sorts of screwed up when you put it onto other platforms. Um different platforms, different rights, and we're doing this multi-stream. So it's fucking a pain in the ass, okay? So that's why we're not doing it. Okay, so let's talk the Wonder Wheel. Do, 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 do. So the Wonder Wheel, that's what we're gonna do. It's a game called of, of Apocalypse, which is very timely. I came up with this last week, but this is very timely considering what's going with the, excuse me. Ooh, there's kombucha coming up. It be, there's the UN report saying that uh, basically we got to get our shit together or the earth, the earth is going to burn up into, into smoke. So it's very timely in that way. And how it works is um, art imitating life, life imitating art. Um, I am going to spin the wheel. Character one is going to come on. They're going to talk a little bit about what happened in the apocalypse it's less than two minutes, so these go fast. At some point, I do not know. You do not know. We do not know. That character is going to break out into song. Okay. And second character, we spin the wheel again. Second character comes up and has a relationship with the first character and is going to tell us about the relationship with the first character and what happened they, either their version or the stuff they did together in the lead up to the apocalypse. What happened that day? Am I? Yeah, that's it. That's it. Who they are, why they're significant, their relationship with the other person, and then what they did together. So that's what's going to happen. And then we're going to do it again. Person one is going to, we're going to spin it again. And also the characters can't repeat, FYI. So we're going to spin it again until we get a new one. Character one is going to come on do something less than two minutes, talk, start monologuing, and then eventually break into song. Then we spin it again. The second one is going to come on and give us who they are, why they're significant, the relationship to the second, to the first person, and then what they did together in the lead up to the apocalypse. Make sense? Sound good? You ready? Or we're going to do this. I take off my glasses for these things because the glare annoys me too. Don't worry about that. You're not the only one. Okay, you like this thing? My friend, uh, this is such a sign of generosity. My friend, I was at, she is, at, she works at a tea shop and I went in to say hi. And she, I said, oh my God, that's such a pretty like ribbon on your head. And she took it off and gave it to me. And she said, I have a whole thing upstairs, take it. I thought, Isn't that just the way it's supposed to be, right? Okay. So, and of course, um, you also should know this is that I can't actually, I don't really know who's coming in and out. It doesn't tell me real time. 
how many people or what platform they're on. So if you want to say something, please put it in the comments. I would love that. That would be a lot of fun. Please, please, please put it in the comments. Okay. All right. So let me do... Um, Okay, the start of an idea that we're going to do next week. So I have wrote it down. Okay, let's get started. Um, okay, so here we go. Are you ready? The Wonder Wheel. Let me, I'm going to put it Apocalypse Edition. The Wonder Wheel Apocalypse Edition. Here we go. Are you ready? And you can also, if you want to say anything to the characters, you could put it in. I will. Um, I think I probably spelled this wrong. Sorry. Um, I apologize in advance. Um, if you want to say something to the characters, you can just put it in, um, put it into the chat and I will answer that. I'll make sure to check it before I leave the character. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. All right. So Candace Twyla again. Okay. We can repeat them from before within the game. We can't repeat. Okay, so here we go. Hey guys, so today is the apocalypse and it's really fiery. It's a little bit hot, but thank God I'm wearing my bikini. It was a, like a thunderbolt of fire, just way more than my screen could handle. I saw it on my phone before I saw it in me, before I saw it on me, and it felt so alivening but it wasn't a fire fire it was more of a blue fire that just kind of singed all my hair off but didn't kill me so now we're here together me dan john all of the people who run my social media with me are here together at my house in la uh, by the beach looking out at the waves that are crashing dangerously close to our door. We're pretty sure that maybe no one else survived this. Good thing I made that extra seawall because it looked really good. I look really nice and short next to it when I was standing by it. So that's why I got it an extra, extra high. All right, folks. So, oh, you want me to sing? How could I not sing in this wonderful world? Well, you know, we don't have electricity for me to be able to like tune up the synthesizer. Um, so I'll just have to do it a cappella. Okay, five, six, seven, eight. Where in the apocalypse, lips, lips, it's an ellipse, lips, lips, not an ellipses, lipses, lipses. I'm gonna influence myself. I got only myself left. I can self influence, I can influence what, what, what influence me, influence you, apocalypse coming, influence to influence, influence to influence, and not influenza the flu. Oh, thanks, guys. I know, it's amazing. It's like amazing, like life imitating art, art imitating life. Like I came up with that song all by myself. And then look what happened today. I'd say buy it on interns, but I don't think it exists anymore. Bye. Okay, all right. So there you go. That's person one, Candace Twyla with her blistering song about the apocalypse. And here we go. Chris Jenner, okay. Candace Twyla, um, this is a message for you. I'm sending you a video message where your neighbor's actually here in LA. And you seem like you're the only one with a house standing. And so I think me and my whole crowd should come to your house directly, Candace, um, because we don't have anywhere else to go. And where else am I going to have my brood to make the, the absolute show of the universe? Because I think that other people in this world might be surviving. And wouldn't it be incredible if we put it all on camera so that when we finally do come together and to make a a pro donation of the 50 people to a hundred or a thousand left on earth. At least that you and me, Candace, you and me could be the ones who have the content. So we can be king. Stick with me, Candace. 
I'll make you really famous instead of buy all your followers from shady websites famous. All right, there we go. Um, let's do it again. Okay, person one. That's all we know is that it's the apocalypse. Candace Twyla has the only house standing and Kris Jenner is trying to get in there, promising to make her famous. What's going to happen? I don't know. Let's spin the effing wheel. Candace Twyla can't have a double. What? What? Kris Jenner can't have a double. Estrella. Hi, I'm Estrella. Oh my goodness. Oh, God damn it. It's so sad when you finally book your real big show at 54 Below and then everyone's been taken out in New York City. And I'm just standing here on a stage and there's no actual theater around it. It's actually, there's no theater anywhere around this and it's just me. Just me here, and me and a bunch of rocks here. That's, a, that's the rest, I guess, the rubble of the, ugh, of the, of the whole thing. Oh, I just put that in my hair. Isn't that crazy? Well, I don't really know who I'm talking to at this point. It's just me. I, I happened to be in the dressing room, which is a, a floor down. I was the only one there, and I think something happened. I could see the East River from here. This really is disconcerting. I was there. I heard a great rumble, a great crash. I thought, oh, my goodness, the public loves me already. And then I came on up, and here I am. Huh. You know, when my husband left me, he said, you're really better off with the only person you love most, yourself. And I thought, he's not. But now look, I am. I am the only one left here in the apocalypse, in the rubble by myself. Oh, I keep putting this dust in my head. Jesus. Well, I guess I might as well do part of my cabaret act after all. And there's just a, if a cabaret singer sings on a stage in an empty city, did she actually sing at all? I will answer that riddle right now and I can assure you, well, maybe after this song, we'll know. All right, so let's see. Oh, well, the only thing left of my piano player are his fingers that were on the piano. Oh. Well, that was a very strong thumb. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, the clouds are high, but maybe I'm higher. The clouds are low. Just give me an upper. Oh, I go to sleep at night with the help of my friends. Da, 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 da. I walk through the park with the help of my friends. I go play tennis with the help of my friends. I go sing a song at 54 below with the help of my friends. My friends come in bottles, my friends come tight. My friends are there for more morning and night. Who needs a man when you have friends? Friends, thank God for pills. Oh, another pill classic there for you. Thank you, everyone. I see that I knew they would love me. They would. If a singer, cabaret singer, sings at 54 below in an empty city, you can hear it. You can hear the notes sing in the forest or something like that. Uh, comment. Goodbye. All right, so there you have it. All right, now we're going to have another character come up. And that character, and hello to you too. DX, what's up, what's up? Now we're going to have another character come up, and that character is going to comment on what the first one did. What's going to happen? I have no idea. Candace Twyla and Kris Jenner are in L.A., and Estrella is in New York at 54 Below just standing on the stage alone. 
What's going to happen? I don't know. Estrella can't do doubles. Judy. Oh, my effing goodness. <sighs> oh, my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, oh, can barely see. It's just... Yeah, yeah. Let me see. Get punched through this. Oh my goodness. A cabaret stage? How the hell did I make it on the I, I was I was in Brooklyn. I was just in Brooklyn getting the cheese from the refrigerator when I had a big crash and I'm I'm the I'm the manager of the Park Club Food Court. That's my job. Yes, I am Judy. I almost I, it it ran around in my brain so I could barely speak. I could barely think. I could barely remember. It was just a, and now I see this deranged person singing by herself. What should I do? I don't know. Maybe it rushed me through the tunnels. We do have the secret tunnels in the co-op that lead into an organic farm in the Poconos. But I had no idea that it could sweep me into Manhattan first. Or perhaps it goes to Manhattan the way to the Poconos. It doesn't actually go the way of the BQE. It actually goes the way of the Williamsburg Bridge. That's why. That's how I'm here. Oh my goodness. All right, do I want her to see me? She looks a little bit, oh my, I, I could see the East River from here. That's unbelievable. The apocalypse is here. Oh dear me. There only are two women here. That's pretty interesting. I think that's quite preferable actually. There's only two women. That means the patriarchy has ended. Finally, the moment I've been waiting for, and there's no one I could blog to about it to tell. Oh, the patriarchy is finished. It's just me and her forever. Paradise. All right, there you have it. So Judy and Estrella are the last two people in New York, hello, LA has all this preponderance of these influencers. Oh my goodness. What's happening? What is happening? I don't know. We're going to spin the reel and we have to get someone else. So we're going to spin. <gasps> Princess Diana is here. What? So we'll just go into it. I woke up from my cryogenic chamber, my Nick Gizabic stiffed. I never did in that accident. I never did actually go into an ambulance. I just rolled into a cryogenic chamber. People were right. I did fake my own death, but it wasn't to, to actually live. It was more to take a pause. But basically, when I thought a paparazzi might be a little more subdued, maybe forgotten my name or something. But I didn't expect to wake up to an empty room. Looks like no one's around. Um, oh, that's Walt Disney in the, in the container next to me, but only his head, how dreadful. Well, um, I guess I'm off to live my life however I please. No one seems to be around. Well, I guess I'll just see. Um, well, let's see the, the window here. Oh, oh dear me. The entire city of London is totally decimated. Why, I come back from the seemingly dead and it's basically just me. It's a dream I've always wanted. It's, it's something that I thought would be lovely to be alone. And a princess is what I was anyway. 
I was alone in the tower, and now I am down below. But what do I want to do with this solitude except yawn? Write letters to Harry that he'll never read. Hmm. Well, I guess that's it, huh? I guess there's no more footmen for me. I'll never have to live like a royal again. Um, I'll just live as myself. All right. That's not what I bargained for. And in fact, I wish I would do the whole thing again. I'd end up in the ambulance after all. I guess that's supposed to be kind of sad. I don't want to leave this on a, on a sad note. I don't wish for my death. I just wish I didn't have to live by myself again. I kind of wanted everyone gone particularly my, my in-laws. Oh my goodness, if that would be the only other people left, then it's just me and my in-laws for all of time. Hmm. Someone please hail me a taxi. Oh dear, I can't do that anymore. Um, the car. The car? No, no, that won't work anymore. Well, I guess I'll just be off to go live a life you know, now that I think about it, who I got famous for, I got very famous for that photo on a landmine, but imagine a photo in this here. Hmm. Where can I get my, some film? I don't think I could do that. So, I guess I'll just be in a disaster area and just look. Hmm. All right. So, that's Princess Diana. She's very confused. She's in London and all, the whole thing is decimated. She's not sure what she should do. And I think the only character left, because we didn't, we ran through them all. We have six characters. The only one left is Queensy. <gasps> Queens Marine. Hi, oh my God. Like, what the fuck? I go like downstairs in the basement to like, well, I live in the basement. So that's like weird. You know, I go down to the basement to like, you know, just like change my nail polish before I like go out in the town. Like what the fuck? All this is like the like rubble. My name's Queen Marie and like I'm the neighborhood neighborhood esthetician. And like, I just expect like the neighborhood to like be normal. I know I did lose my hearing a little bit, like when I went to clubbing last night. So like I couldn't hear things. And so I just didn't expect like anything to happen. Like what the fuck? That's weird. My phone's ringing. Hello? Why do you have an English accent? Who are you? I don't know anyone with an English accent. You sound kind of fancy. You're Princess Diana? Like, what the fuck? I saw you on the, like, cover of newspapers. You're, like, fucking dead. Stop fucking with me, okay? So, like, yeah, you're fucking Princess Diana. Like, how the fuck did you get my number? Like, how would you even know how to use, like, a cell phone? You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you just picked it up from the floor in the cryogenic chamber? What a fucking weirdo. You're pulling my leg, all right? So, you just need to stop. I don't know if I can get a robocalls and, like, the apocalypse, I guess. You found a jet and you found your son and you're going to fly over because you just did a scan of all the world's phones and found like the only ones that were working. I love that the only ones are working and in Queens. You're coming all the way. Well, you know, I am a queen. Can I be queen then? If we only have like 100 people left in the world, I think I'm going to be queen, okay? No, I'm dictating the terms. You were lonely over there with fucking, fucking weird royals and you want to come here and talk to me? You want to come like hang out because you scan the world's phones and like I'm the only one on the East Coast to hang out with? So like you're going to play by my terms, die, die, okay? So first of all, you're going to come here and what you're going to do is you're going to like let me be queen. I'm going to be queen. And I ain't getting you fucking shit. Let's just be this real. I ain't getting you no fucking... I'm not going to get you to get like tea, like to get me my tea. I got to get a spot of tea. Give me a break. All right. It's going to be my rules. And what I'm going to say, because you want to hang out with Queensy, you got to treat me like the queen. All right. There you have it. All six of them creating mayhem and trying to love and falling short and all of those things. Um, in the apocalypse there, they have, what do you think is going to happen? I'm not sure either. Is Chris, Candace going to let Chris into the house? Is Princess Diana going to capitulate to all of Queens Marie's demands? And is Judy actually going to talk to Estrella so they can rule the world? 
sans the patriarchy. I'm not sure, but I had a really good time figuring it out um, up to that point with you. So thank you for being here. Thank you for joining, okay? You're having fun. Tell a friend. You got the last, basically last month and a half of our time together here before we move over to Instagram. So I will see you very soon. As I always say, be freaky, be weird, make art. I love you. Mm, bye.